we have a process for using the SQL tuning advisor, and I've done this with customers, it's actually pretty simple. The first thing, of course, is we have a piece of SQL that we want to tune. In this case, with this customer, it was the import side of an operation where the export only took one and a half hours, yet the import was taking two full days to run. So that's clearly a problem that we want to address. We went to the AWR report and found the high load SQL, in, in this case, looking at the elapsed time section. And that particular SQL statement identified by that SQL ID was not really complex. So this doesn't look like it's a case where maybe the optimizer can't figure things out. There's probably something else at play. Running the SQL tuning advisor itself couldn't be simpler. You just go to the SQL tuning guide and copy and paste one of the examples plug in the, uh, the SQL ID in which you're interested, and away you go. It runs in a matter of seconds or minutes, depending on how complex your query is, and it will then produce a report. The top of the report, of course, is just boilerplate. It's your SQL statement, the bind uh, values used, and then you get to the findings. In this case, we had eight findings, which fell into four different classes. The first type of finding, which you see here, is uh, it's a statistics finding telling you to gather statistics on certain tables in the database. And this can happen if you've got maybe locked statistics that are out of date or simply haven't been refreshing the statistics fast enough. The second type of finding was one of those SQL profiles that Daniel talked about, and it's promising a two thirds speed up in performance here. And that's pretty good, but even better promises are made for this index finding. It's saying if we create this index on the table, it will speed up performance by 88%. Now that's really good, but look at the rationale section and pay attention to the caution there. Whenever the SQL tuning advisor recommends an index or a partitioning or a materialized view, you really need to do that only when you've run a workload through the access advisor. And that's because any one of those kind of operations such as an index can have implications far beyond the single uh, SQL statement that we're tuning in this run of the SQL tuning advisor. So I'm probably not going to take this particular recommendation just on one tuning advisor run. The fourth type of, uh, of finding that could happen is that the SQL tuning advisor will look back into your AWR and see whether you've run this same statement in the past, but run it much faster. Now, it does a lot more than just look at whether it was fast. In this case, you can see that the five times it found this statement running before, it couldn't reproduce the conditions that were used for the plan in place there. Now, whether that is uh, something about the number of rows in the table or other database conditions, you don't know. But the fact is, in this case, it could not find an alternate plan that was better. So what do we do based on all of that? Well, the first thing I always do is follow any of the uh, stats gathering recommendations because it's always good to have good stats in your database. And what we found in this case is that when we gathered stats on those five tables, it improved our performance by a factor of 20 and we didn't need the profile, we didn't need that index. So that's the kind of approach you can follow where this whole process could take you less, in this case, less than half an hour from finding the statement to running the tuning advisor to getting these results. And that's a really good way to go about tuning the SQL in your database.